What are your goals for the rest of this year and how is it going working towards them? Well, one of my goals is to get better at singing because um, I have this big goal is to, you know, work like get a good voice and um, to perform on like small stages. My goal is um, to type faster. First, I should have to say that I'm working on writing on two stories and my goal is to finish them till the end of this year. Um, I want to get better at skateboarding and learning tricks. Um, I think I'm almost there. Um, I'm still thinking about uh, juggling because I'm not really mastered, but I'm not practicing, so yeah. Um, 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 oh, I currently don't have any goals, and I'm trying to work on to try getting some goals. My fifth graders have been collecting work in electronic portfolios all year and to some extent setting goals for themselves, linking these goals to their portfolios occasionally. I found, however, that as often the case with goal setting, both with students and adults, is that they lost sight of their goals shortly after setting them and had no real process in place for keeping these in focus and owning the process of working towards them and ultimately proving they'd met them. I chose to focus my final Cotail project on how I could support the students in this class in setting goals that were both meaningful to them, but also goals that were aligned with their school expectations, and to house these goals in some way that would allow for um, both collaboration and communication that could support the kids in their goal setting. To begin this process, um, we started by unpacking and rewriting our school's essential competencies. These essential competencies are a really manageable, concise list that I feel directly addresses the 21st century skills that these kids need to be honed in on. After we had discussed them as a class and the students had worked in groups to rewrite them, students made copies of a Google Doc um, that had these rewritten, rewritten essential competencies in them and embedded this into their e-portfolios. They then chose one or two that they wanted to focus on. They then began the process of planning the steps they needed to reach the goals as they saw them, searching for evidence and mastery along the way. It is crucial in, in teaching students this age uh, and when goal setting, that we don't force benchmarks written for adults onto our students, but rather allow them to own these and make meaning for them themselves. The essential competencies in this case are meant to nudge these students in a direction we feel is important, but the path that they take is theirs to take. Our e-portfolios allow the kids to keep this process in one public place, a place that they, their peers, teachers, and parents can comment and support them. In reflecting on my goals for this project and where the class has taken them, I'm struck with three things. First, is that the students this age need consistent guidance and encouragement uh, to articulate, monitor, and collect evidence for goal setting. Without this, they quickly lose sight of their goals and struggle to tie them to the school's benchmarks or essential competencies. Second is that parents are, are not used to being engaged in their child's work in such a direct way. I, needed, I found I needed to require as homework a lot of the time parent participation in order to facilitate the support. Once it, once it got going, some parents took off and continued to comment on their child's goals, while others commented only when I asked them to. Finally, I was really struck with how technology, when used as a collaboration and communication tool, allowed students, parents, and teachers to come together in support of, of the children's education in a powerful way that I don't think would have been possible otherwise. Parents who would otherwise be removed from this in-class process were able to be intimate participants in this important part of their child's education. I was proud of where my class took this project and how they grew in their ability to set, monitor, and focus their, their goal setting, as well as how they encouraged each other along the way. Uh, this is definitely an example for me of how uh, technology can in, enrich and enhance in really meaningful ways um, the teaching practice. 
Uh, it's definitely a project that I will start earlier next year, and I'll be excited to see where a group of fifth graders will take it if given an entire year to, to work on it. Well, one of my goals is to find out as a box solutions and um, to think of challenges as an exciting like adventure instead of this boring, like frustrating thing that is in my way. One of my goals that I achieved is being grace, is having grace. I have evidence in my blog when um, Michelle said when I spilled my soup on your coat, you didn't get really mad at me. So, so far I've got, I got two goals, which are creativity and innovation, and the information, media, and ICT. And I achieved these two goals. And now I'm working on Christ-like attitudes, and I'm trying to show self-control every time. I like. had one classmate um, write me a comment on my blog that said, I already think you are a great leader. Well, I achieved four goals, and for one of the goals, I, I my, mine was to show Christ-like attitudes to the world every day. And then for my evidence, I like I like got the evidence, and it was being the bucket filling, the filler for the month. I'm trying to work with people I don't know and solve problems that are like hard and that I don't really know how to solve. And the problems I don't know how to solve is going pretty well, but then I haven't found any people that I don't really know to work with yet.